like we always do at this time, early in the morning. Shout out to everybody. Still woke. Feeling the groove. What it do? Shout out to my team. Shout out to my man, Will on 17 years. Welcome home, baby boy. You know what I'm saying? I told you shit was going to be a lot different when you come home, though, right? I'm going to do an interview with my man. He just came home after doing 17 years. Down south, down there, and started from Broward County. You know what I'm saying? Reached his way down there to, I guess, Dade County, the pan, the pan handles. You know what I'm saying? West Palm Beach, et cetera, et cetera. Shout out to you, Will Line. Welcome home again, baby boy. Keep your head up. Stay out of this bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Shit done got dangerous out here. Now, Grand jury evidence includes interviews of Dewan Davis talking about the murders of Tupac. Dewan Davis, a.k.a. Keefe D. Our homeboy. He implicated Suge Knight, which that's why I told y'all Suge Knight is trying to cover his ass by saying, oh, no, nah, I'm not going to testify. No, you're not going to testify because he's going to testify against you. And the book that he wrote, Cop the Street Legends, he put all the evidence in the book and guess what y'all the book is not part of the evidence now watch this shit we are taking a live look now at flamingo and koval at a spot made infamous by one of the valley's highest profile killings that has gone unsolved for decades rapper tupac shakur died after a drive-by shooting here in 1996 now nearly three decades later a suspect is finally in jail and tonight we are learning more about the evidence against him fox 5 has a look at the evidence used to convince a grand jury to indict a henderson man on a murder charge police believe that he was the mastermind behind the crime and now believe that they can prove it. Seen all the on the news. Like, damn, I got away. That was Dwayne Keefe Davis's reaction after Tupac's murder, recounted during a podcast. Davis, who now calls Henderson home, had his house raided by Metro back in July and was arrested on Friday after these pictures, videos, and interviews were presented to a grand jury. The grand jury finding there was enough evidence to try him for the 1996 drive-by killing. He is also accused of plotting the murder. The moment it was announced that Tupac passed away, what was your reaction and what was Orlando's reaction? We ain't gonna let him see us sweat, you know what I'm saying? That's giving away this, you know what I'm saying? This like telling ourselves. Investigators say Davis confessed to his involvement in the case, giving full details of how he and co conspirators killed the late rapper. But that interview was in exchange for information, and Davis was given immunity. What he later revealed in documentaries and podcasts was not part of the original deal with police, and now prosecutors are using his own words against him. Went up to the light on Sunset and Flamingo, and a uh, dude uh, was acting like he was in a parade or something. And that BMW hanging out the window, hey, this Tupac, he's Tupac. And we had that made it, came up on the side of him. I, I read in the book, you said that it looked like you you guys rolled up and Pac reached. Looked like he was reaching, yeah, it looked like he was ready to bust our <laughs> So now we got, we, we was the first one. Yeah. Luckiest one, I guess. Hit that corner, gave a little chase, boom, boom, boom. So you guys parked the car, put the gun under under oh, the tire. Yeah. I, mean, I think you said in the book, you guys came back out and you guys saw ambulances coming or uh, with Tupac and, and Suge in the ambulance. If you wanted to say that for a Compton Street legend, man, y'all need to go buy that book. This is the book he wrote about what happened. Compton Street Legend, notorious Keefe D's street-level accounts of Tupac and Biggie's murders. And now, this same book, listen to what they say very closely at the players in the book who has something to do with Tupac and Biggie's murder. Listen. Death Row Origins, Suge Knight, Puffy Combs, and Crooked Cops. The book, now part of the murder case. And Davis is expected to appear in court on Wednesday morning. The 60-year-old is facing one charge of murder with a deadly weapon with a gang enhancement attached. 
Ain't here, big dummy, y'all. Ain't here, big dummy. Welcome, welcome to your to your second home, Ke- your well, your new home, Keefy D. Um, a lot of people saying that they think that he's gonna get off because of the simple fact that Lane was not actually the shooter. And then, and then, let me show y'all something else before I go. Look, look at this dude. And before I move forward with this video, shout out to Yahoo Entertainment, Darren Flowers, and DJ Vlad at VladTV.com. Credits goes out to both of you guys, and credit goes out to Yahoo Entertainment. This video is for entertainment and educational and criticism purposes. This is your boy, Casa Dom. Let's go. Now, what I'm trying to say is, the last I had bragged that he tried to get Keefy D popped in 2019. He said he solved the case. I don't work for the police. I don't solve cases. So who the fuck says that's my solve the case? Listen. Hold on. Hey. Now listen to the lad what he said. Out there. I mean, I felt that uh, I essentially solved uh, this whole case four years ago. I did the, the first interview with Keefy D in like July of 2019. Uh, I mean, it was all laid out from beginning to end. So, so for me, that, that was my sense of closure just as a, as a fan of, of Pac. Um, you know, because if you look at my history, like, um, you know, like the biggest project I did during my DJ career was a Tupac mixtape. It was called Rap Phenomenon 2. Okay. Y'all hear that, right? Now, he said he solved the case in 2019, when he did the first Keefy D interview, when you solve a case, I thought you get a reward or some shit. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying. Y'all keep getting y'all butts up on Vlad TV talking and running your mouths. I don't have no problem with Vlad. I mean, I feel like he's only doing his job. I don't find him to be a rat, a snitch, or none of that. No, he's doing his job. And if you want to accept money and sit there and get yourself tied up, with a person that's probably been paid to ask you these questions, go ahead. Go ahead. And now all of a sudden, all the stuff, like he said, that he had the whole case laid out for them in 2019. It's like bittersweet because he wanted the victory. That's why he's all over TV now. I think who, 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 who asked all them questions like that? He asked the most serious questions out of all the interviews that Keefy D did when he asked, was you in the car? Did you hand him the gun? And was you in the car? Keefy D said, yeah, yeah. Now, even if Keefy D is lying about who is the shooter, at this point, it really don't matter. I don't give a freak if the driver was the shooter. You was in the car, though, and you did see him get shot. You can forget who. who even if you kind of forgot who shot the gun at this point, but you was in the car, you heard the shots went off to hit him, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. They still could convict him. Accessory to commit murder is when you're in the vehicle with somebody in the commission of a crime and you flee with them after the crime is committed and you don't report it to the law enforcement. Now you're you're either a material witness or a co-conspirator. Shouts out to Marita Boy over there doing his thing. Shouts out to my reader boy. Yeah, he shot that off for information that who who was the person who um was the witness. Remember, we kept saying we thought it was the girlfriend. Everybody kept saying that, but he said, nah, it's glass. So shouts out to my reader boy for that information. Y'all go over there and support my man channel. M-E-R-I-T-A, my reader boy. Go over there and check him out. Love no cost to Don Sanchez. Shouts out to Audio Crack at the same token. Ain't shot my man's eye in a second. Shouts out to the nigga, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing. I was going to say Smiles' name, but they've they been doing their thing, so I'm going to fall back off them for a second. Shouts out to my boy Lamont 112, you know what I'm saying? And the real people. Shouts out to all the real people. Shouts out to all my mods. Shouts out to all my subscribers. Shouts out to everybody rock with the channel. If you're a local, if you're a loyal fan, please make sure you hit that like button and share the videos. So we get in the algorithms. This is your boy Kyle Saddam. Signing out. Peace.